Hey, future Wildcats. This is Father Ryan Duns, uh, Mr. Holleran's brother-in-law, and as he promised or threatened, I will be teaching you to play the St. Ignatius High School alma mater on the tin whistle. Remember, the, the, the main thing is you have to make sure all your, your fingers are covering all the holes. So if you want, one way to do this is just to play the scale all the way down. If you hear something weird as you go down, you know that that's where your finger is going off the hole. We're going to break this down into eight parts, just like the sheet music that you were given in the class. So part one is what you learned with Mr. Holleran already. It's D, D, G, G, F, sharp, E, E, D. D, D, G, G, F, E, E, D. Go ahead and try that. D, D, G, G, F, E, 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 D. Now we're going to do the next part. Ties from new days from the old. D, D, G, D, A, D, B. So that involves two hands now. So you're going to be using both your right and left hand. For some of you, this is going to be terribly difficult because you're not coordinated. Work at it. Once again, D, D, G, D, A, D, B. It's going to be tricky because you have to work at getting all your fingers down and up and down and up over and again, and you'll get it if you practice. So let's put the two of them together. One, two, ready, go. Now the next part's kind of easy. It's B, 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 F, B, A, A, G. B, 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 F, B, A, A, G. B, 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 F, B, A, A, G. You can see I keep looking over because I have it written out in front of me. And let's do the fourth part, G, G, A, E, B, G, A. G, G, A, E, B, G, A. So in three minutes and 10 seconds, we've already gotten almost half of the tune under our belt. Let's play the first four parts all combined. So crazy easy so far, mostly. The next part, part five, is a repeat of part one. So we already know that. Part six. D, D, G, G, A, B, E. D, D, G, G, A, B, E. So let's play part five and part six together. So far, so good. We're almost at the end. And the next part is, now Mr. Holler has written it out E, E, A, B, C, D, B. I probably would play a little different, so let's try it his way, and then I'll show you the way I might tweak it just, just a titch.
so you know what? If you've got the sheet music, it's E E A A B C D B. E E low E E E A A B C D B. I think it just sound uh, the way we sang it. It's actually probably working a little bit better. E E two A's that's a C natural if you're finicky about the right names for notes and the grand conclusion is G G C C A B G G G C C A B G Okay, let's put the whole tune together one time through, and then we'll do it maybe one time after that. We'll see. So you should find that fairly easy to follow. It's, it seems difficult at the outset, but I think if you practice it, it'll be fine. Remember, if you have grandparents or uncles, this would be a great party trick and would probably impress them. Maybe they would give you some money for playing it at a family event. Um, or there again, you know, maybe you can make a YouTube video of your own and send it to the admissions counseling staff and see if they'll you know, accept you for being able to play the alma mater to show that you bleed blue and gold. So I'm going to play it one more time on this tune whistle, just because I like it, and uh, it's black, like my shirt. Good luck, guys. Go Cats.